Hi, welcome to Big Smith News Watch. My name is Levi Smith and we will be speaking with Mr. Wandel Bacchus. Wandel Bacchus is no stranger to the media and to the members of the public. He has reached out to Big Smith News Watch to share some information with us that he considers important to himself and to an ongoing police investigation. Mr. Bacchus, welcome to Big Smith News Watch. Yes, good afternoon, sir. All right, so... Why are you here? Boss, Why did you reach out to Big Smith News the reason in the first place? Because we've seen you elsewhere um, over the last few days. So why are you here today? Why are you at us? I was arrested for an incident that happened, right? And the police locked me up. Now, at the end of the day, the police got a work for do. And is this the same as you with um, the... With the More paper shards paper. investigation. Okay. Yes, I was arrested for the paper shards investigation. At the end of the day, the police got a work for do. I was locked up for three days, right? A police sergeant by the name of Mr. Bascom would have taken me. What Bascom? Dion Bascom, mm -hmm. right? He would have taken me to Ivlery, right? Shortly after, my lawyer, Damien De Silva, arrived and presented me to CID ranks at Ivlery. I would have kept at the lockups for three days. Right now, at the end of the day, the police got a work for do. They got a right to run their investigation, so forth. Now, that is water under the bridge that done pass, that done gone. I had to go through what I had to go through. Mm -hmm. Now, the other day, I don't know, visit with this particular individual. He rise up on social media. You know, and he start talking things. Now, what I'm saying, if you have a problem with you, who you have a problem with, that is your concern. That is not my concern. When you is going to label me as an individual that usually mix and meddle with all manner of people in the streets, the good, the bad, and the indifference, right? When you going to label me to society, as one of your informant, you're claiming on social media that you recruit informers and I am one of your informant. Now, I want to make it clear to you. I want to make it clear to the Guyanese public also. Speak to them into the camera. You know, I want to make it clear to you and to the Guyanese public. You know, how could I be an informant how could I be an informant when you are not in prison? Explain that. All right. In a sense, I know things about you. Leo I know. Smith? I know. Not you. <laughs> I know things about that individual, mm -hmm. Bascom, mm -hmm. and he's not in prison. So how could I be an informer? What do you know of Mr. Bascom? All right. Well, I know a lot of things of Mr. Bascom. Mm -hmm. doings in the streets as a police officer a lot of things like well i would say bringing out narcotics from the narcotics branch at Ivlery and selling it out in the streets yeah now i'm not here to tarnish nobody character and Nobody has sent me here in these things. I come here off of my own. Mm -hmm. Because you are labeling me as an informer in the streets. Just look at it. A police officer is labeling an individual that usually be in the streets as a police informer. Automatically, I see that you are trying to sign my death warrant. Most obviously, that is what you're doing. Who are some of your, who are some of your associates? Now, let me make it clear to you, right? And, and before we go, let's, before we go to associates, um, an interview was publicized with you mm -hmm. um, admitting or refuting claims that your attorney turned you into the 
police. You did say Mr. Bascom turned you into the Correct police. Correct is right. He did turn me into the police. But then I saw another video that suggested that it was not him. Uh, explain where the confusion is coming from. Now, at the end of the day, like I told you before and I'm going to tell you again, you got to get Jackie Jacket. I call my attorney, Mr. Damien De Silva. I say that I'm going to Evlery. With or without you, I'm going to Evlery. But I never give him details who I was going to Evlery with. Mm -hmm. I call Bascom to take me in to Evlery. Mm -hmm. And you don't consider Bascom taking you to Evlery as taking you into the police? He take me to Evlery. Mm -hmm. He take me to Ivlery. Okay, as long as though you're getting technical, um, but okay. No, I'm so, not getting technical. No, because your earlier interview said that he turned you into the police and it was now your lawyer. Now you're saying that he took you to Ivlery and then at some point, some... He take me to Ivlery, mm -hmm. right? Now when he take me to Ivlery, shortly after my lawyer come and we deal with the investigators on the matter. So he carried the e-play and then somebody else carried you to the police? Most obviously is that because the police would not question me without my attorney there. They would not do that. It's simple. Mm -hmm. The police would wait for my attorney to come, then to book me in, then to question me. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what I know of the police procedures. Yeah. Um, if a police takes you... And I'm saying this because there is another video that you did, yeah. which seems to be contradicting your initial video um, or your initial interview. Your initial interview says, Bascom took me into the police. The second interview, and what you're saying to me now, is suggesting that Bascom took you to Evlery, but it is not normal procedures. Uh -huh. It is not normal procedures for yeah. someone to... Be take for a police yeah. to know that you want it for an offense and take you at the station, yeah. leave you there, and then wait for somebody else to take you to the other part. They have to carry it. No, so listen that is to where me. the confusion yeah. in my head. Now, let me so clear I it up with clarity you. there. When we go to Ivlery, right? Mm -hmm. I go upstairs. He hand me over, I go upstairs, and shortly after, my attorney, Damien De Silva, come. Mm -hmm. And then we start the procedure from there. All right, good. So I was asking you before all of this, yeah. who are some of your associates? Pertaining to... Associates. Who are some of the people you line with? Who are some of the people? I'm speaking about people that might have influence or not no, have influence. No, 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 no. I don't associate with people who have influence. Mm -hmm. I am not the kind of person who associates with people who have influence. I deal with low-life people in the streets. Mm -hmm. Small people, people in small caliber. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm so concerned of my name labeling as an informer. Mm -hmm. Bascom has associates that you're aware of or you know of? Of course. Who are some of those boys? Well, for instance, he just work with a big businessman. I don't have to call name. You already know his name. <laughs> no, I, I, no, no, I'm I do not go, listen. I will not, not go into great. I gonna... will not go into great details, mm -hmm. but okay. he works with a big businessman, mm -hmm. and you already know his who. I will not go into great details. Mm -hmm. The whole guy needs public noise who, mm -hmm. you know. So what different? What difference can you say to us here that you haven't said anywhere else? No, well, um... And, and that's, what, that's one of the questions I was asking you when you reached out to us because I wanted to know um, what is the whole reason for reaching out to us. Now, let me explain something to you, right? When somebody, you put you, right, in my, in my position. Now... If I was to, all right, we just be in the streets. You put you in my position, you just be in the streets. Mm -hmm. And I was to go on live social media and say that, um, you know, Big Smith is an informer. Or Big Smith is a coach. Mm -hmm. 
I don't be in the streets, you is be in the streets. I don't know how people might look at you in the streets, right? But there is no way, there is no way that I could say that Big Smith is an informer when Big Smith got a lot of things to say about me. Big Smith know about me. So, there is no way, and I'm making it clear, there is no way you could label me as an informer. All right. Um, you said, you said um, that you have a lot of information. Or, or I have a lot. Things about Mr. Bascom. Yes. You've only spoken about the alleged narcotics being removed. We would have, let me, and let me make it clear to you, Bascom is not a stranger to my home. Mm -hmm. Bascom be coming to my home a very long time. Mm -hmm. The woman that I'm in a relationship with, Bascom, and her son go to school together. And Bascom would sit down at my breakfast table and confess certain things to me. Like? Bascom would sit down at my breakfast table and confess certain things to me. Like? Bascom would sit down at my breakfast table and confess certain things to me. I know what he confessed to me. And he know, he knows what he confessed to me. So why don't go to the police? No. You have faith or you know, confidence in the police force? No, the police force at the end of the day, boss, they got to do their job. Right? And... Like I tell you, I is not an informer. Because if I was an informer, I would have gone there long. Mm -hmm. I would have thrown you overboard a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Not me. No, not you. I would have thrown that particular individual overboard a long time. Mm -hmm. That is a good question you ask. Why don't I go there? No, I'm not going there. The knowledge what I have about things is being kept away for the right appropriate time. You believe your life is in danger? Well, I would tell you this presently right now, right? From the time you would go on social media and you would say that I'm an informer, you put a price tag on my head and it's like I, in an interview in the early, I make it loud and I make it clear. I will protect myself by all means necessary. I will take care of myself. I'm making it clear. And... If by any chance, right, somebody like buy certain things off of social media, and what I'm telling you here, most obviously if you're going to check it out, you would know that what I'm speaking about is truth. Mm -hmm. If by any chance people buy things off of social media and would come after me, it would only leave me to defend myself by probable cause. And you and I know that I would win it okay. by probable cause. Mm -hmm. By probable cause. Now, going on social media and labeling somebody as an informer, come on, brother, you got to know what you're saying. Oh, so that is your major concern. That's your, your, your don't, main concern. Don't label me as an informer and you're a dirty cop. Mm -hmm. You are very, very, very dirty. With one, anyway, go ahead. Sooner or later, let me make it clear to you. Sooner or later, this individual would have killed me, you know. Now, I'm not joking and, 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 and I'm not trying to break down people's credibility and nobody didn't send me here to say this and, 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 and all these things. This is an individual we used to sit down and eat at a table. We used to drink. You understand what I'm saying? This is an individual we used to sit down and eat at table and drink. And sooner or later, you would have killed me. You would have called me. I would have come. And you would have killed me. You would have called me. I would have come. And you would have killed me. And you know that I know a lot about you. I think you really got to... Give a name because when this interview is aired, the cut and paste is going to be easy. And so, 
put Soon, names in, in between. Sooner or later, mm -hmm. Bascom would have killed me because he know that I know a lot of him. Mm -hmm. He knows that. When this whole paper shard story now thing, I'm going to tell you the truth, right? I'm going to be, I'm going to be well, frank with you. I expect that you'll come here and only tell me the truth. I'm going to be real frank with you, right? Knowing that you now come out because 2019 I come out of prison, right? Yeah. What was the offense again? Murder. Okay. Yeah. Now, when I come out of prison 2019 and them thing, you know, knowing of this offense, when this offense happened and them thing, and you, you, you get labeled in society for this offense and them thing, and I was very traumatized mm -hmm. in a sense like, why? You ain't know nothing about this thing and, you know, you're there within society, different people sharing all different views and all manner of things about this thing, you know, and some people coming to you and saying, boy, them people gonna kill you. Them mad, them mad people gonna kill you. You know, now, for no well, to be honest, brother, you know nothing what's going on. And your life gonna go down the drain for something we don't know about. You know, now, this individual boss come, arrive on Regent Street today, Regent and Wellington Street, I just sit down there because sometimes I is usually be out there liming, right? Yeah. And he roll, hey, don't depend on this car, you know, the more people them spinning. You understand what I'm showing you? Mm -hmm. And I would jump in the car and he would say, I say, hey, what happened? Give me a drop up Regent, man, because I got some friends up Regent. And go by them and cool out. You know? And one of the things leave me real, real traumatized more. Put me within, within, within a moment and time. It leave me more traumatized is to know that when I'm coming out of his car. Mm -hmm. And I look back. You know? He got his gun in his hand pointing straight at me back. Yeah, brother. He got his gun in his hand, pointing straight at me back. You think he'll shoot you in, in bright daylight? No, um. If I think, mm -hmm. it's not a matter for me to think. It's what I know. Sooner or later, he would have get rid of me. You guys spoke since this whole bacchanal started? If we spoke, mm -hmm. now I'm telling you straight, I'm not here to lie to you. When he first come out on social media, I heard about this chatting and them thing, right? So I was like, I didn't take it for nothing serious. Because I say, man, he just gone on his own masquerade and whatsoever mm -hmm. when a video come to my phone also a recording come to my phone right with this particular individual you you, you would like me to play it play it When last you guys communicated? Bacchus? Just now. Let me, um... We saw all that in a video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is what has you uneasy. Yeah. There is no way you could label me to society as an informer when I could have put you in prison a long time ago. For just the narcotics being reportedly no. removed? No, 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 what no, else? no, 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 no
a whole lot of things. Mm -hmm. if what, is, I, what is the point? What is the point in saying a whole lot of things? What is the point of um, making apparent reference to those things when you? No, well, are, are there things? Listen to me. These inf the information that you have with respect to Mr. Bass, come. Yeah, you're back, because he's boss, come. The information that you have, are there information that if the police receive it and act on it, it can bring closure and justice to some families, to a boy, a girl, a wife, a sister, a mother? Uh, does it have the, does, listen to me, does it have the ability to do that? This information... Does it have the ability to do any of the things I just these mentioned? These information will kept for the right time. No, but I want you to tell me. With no, all due respect, no, listen to me, Bas um, Bacchus. We're not going to get into it for yes. it, But I'm asking you, if the information you have will bring, will, will bring closure to a mother, a father, a sister, a wife, a daughter, a son, a little boy, a little girl, will it bring closure no. to any of the people in those brackets? Just give me a yes or a no answer, then we'll move on. Will it bring closure to any of the persons like that? Yes or no? This information, presently right now, mm -hmm. I will not give it to nobody. Good. But the appropriate time, if by any chance my life is threatened or anybody for me is threatened, it will release. But your life isn't already threatened, you say your life. When they're ready for come, who got come, got come, come, brother. You're going to know when they're coming? Yeah? You're going to know when they're coming? Let, listen to me. If I, I want to be straight too far. I need that yes or no answer from you with respect to... Uh, uh, listen to me. I believe it is only fair that you don't just allow this interview to be an interview where you are saying what you want to come off of your chest. You should also understand that as the person interviewing you, there are some things that I that you would like to have clarity on mm -hmm. or answers on. And that is why all I'm asking you right now is for a yes or a no answer. The information you have, does it have the ability to bring closure to a little boy, a little girl, a mother, a wife, a father, a son? Does it have the ability to bring closure to any of the people in those brackets? Just give me yes or no. You don't got to get into the details. I just need to know yes or no. Does it have the ability to do that? Yes or no? And I will tell you, like I tell you before, no offense. With all due respect, I come on your program. You understand? You did not invite me here. I asked you to come here. This information would be kept away for the right time. With all due respect. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a, a major, major, major point, right? No, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, brother. I be watching the news. That's some water. Right? I be watching the news. As a man, I step on the news. I step on all the news. Right? I be watching the news and I be seeing people saying that um, the president should order witness protection program for boss common. You want water? I didn't want one. <laughs> I don't need one. But what I'm saying, I hear nobody saying um, that he's wrong to labeling that individual to society saying, well, the man is an informant. Yeah, I hear nobody yeah. says so. Mm -hmm. I hear nobody says so. All you're hearing is that... Um, it's good that he speaked out and it's good that he speaked out and he did the right thing. And so labeling a man to society that a man is an informer, it's the right thing. Labeling a man to society that a man is an informer is the right thing. But maybe you're getting um, 
nobody can call him for you to get witness protection because I you're don't probably need it. you're probably not saying the things that will no, cause you to get witness protection. No, 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 no. The things that would cause you to get witness protection, right? The things that would cause you to get witness protection, mm -hmm. right? On a serious note, it's not relevant at this time. Mm -hmm. You know? And I am not bringing out certain details. Presently, right now, I am not. Mm -hmm. I respect you as a journalist. At the end of the day, you have your work to do, and I respect of it. But I am not bringing out certain things. You know, I will keep it for the right time. Okay. And to put it in the rightful hands, with all due respect, brother. Is there anything else you'd like to add to this interview? No. Respect due to you, brother. We've been speaking with Mr. Rondell Bacchus, who came to vent some frustration with respect to him being labeled as an informer by a police officer, Mr. Dion Bascom. My name is Levi Smith. This is Big Smith News Watch. Thank you very much for joining us.